Welcome to another ATG Tech Tip. My name is Jason Artley. I am a Senior Technical Specialist in our Civil Infrastructure Group. Today's tip is all about computer performance. You might think that your computer is working just fine, or maybe you've just got so used to it that you don't know if it's fast or slow. Today I want to point you to a free resource called Passmark.com. They have a performance test application that you can download. This has a free 30-day trial that allows you to test your computer and it will test the various components and you'll be able to see how it stacks up with what other people are using. I do want to give you a couple warnings though before we get started. This is going to take about 10 minutes to download and run. And as it runs, there are going to be a few sequences of very intense graphics. So if you're sensitive to flashing lights or anything like that, I would recommend looking away and coming back later. But once it's done, it's going to pop up some results. And these results are usually given to you in a percentile. So these percentiles go from lowest to highest. In this case, let's look at my Dell first. This is a Dell uh, XPS Studio computer, and it's been great. It was what was used in the industry about 10 years ago. Today, it ranks about the 13th percentile against all other computers. Now, let's look at my modern computer. This is a one-year-old Bimbox Striker M laptop. This is my go-to, this is what I use every day, and it's the fastest computer I've ever used. And that's saying something, because there are faster versions of Bimboxes than this one. Now, this Bimbox, a year-old laptop, ranks very, very high, and it's beating out some of the desktop computers that are out there right now. So use this test and compare with what you have now and see where you stack up. If your computer is below, let's say, the 50th percentile, it's probably time to upgrade because you're not getting the proper performance out of your machine. Your software is going to run slower, and you're wasting all this time that could be spent on project work by watching loading screens and waiting for things to render or process. Now, I do want to give you one other bonus tip. One thing you can do, especially with Civil 3D, is delete your temporary files. If you open up your Windows Explorer and type percent %temp percent into the address bar, it's going to bring you to the temporary files. Here you can delete everything that it will let you. It will tell you what things you can't, and that's okay. We'll just go ahead and skip and accept what it does let us delete. I've seen some 20 gig, 30 gig temporary files. This is all that free area that we can free up on our machine and it's going to make our software work faster, it's going to make our computer work a lot easier, and it's just files that we didn't need anyway. These temporary files are all things that Civil 3D and AutoCAD and other various Windows software, they write to this location, and then they never clean itself out. So we're essentially just hoarding all these files. So what we're going to do is go ahead and clean these out, and that's going to make our computer run a lot better. Now, before we do this, of course, we want to make sure that we have Civil 3D closed. We don't want to do this with Civil 3D open. It can cause Civil 3D to crash. Thank you for checking out today's tech tip. We'll see you on the next one.